Now this morning, a Jacksonville man arrested in connection with the murder of a local teenager will make his first appearance in court. 24-year-old Brian Goggins was arrested in Tallahassee yesterday. So this shooting happened in August. It was at a party in Brentwood. Channel 4's Chris Parento joins us live from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office headquarters this morning. Chris took uh, police some time before they convinced Goggins to give up. It did. It took him almost an hour before they were able to get him to come out. JSO has been looking for this man since the shooting last month. Finally, yesterday, the U.S. Marshals were able to find him and eventually make their arrest. This video shows the moments yesterday as authorities descended on a Tallahassee apartment complex, but the man they were looking for wasn't going easily. Officials say 24-year-old Brian Goggins refused to come out of the apartment, leading to a 45-minute standoff. He eventually surrendered after talking on the phone with police. Goggins had been on the run since August when investigators say he shot 14-year-old Tamaya Sanders along with her mother and another person. Sanders was killed. It happened as the three were sitting outside an apartment in Brentwood. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says the help of the U.S. Marshal's office in cases like this can be invaluable. They do have informants and contacts in just about every city. So they work just like local, local law enforcement, but they can spread around throughout the state and throughout the country with their contacts. And that's probably what they did in this case. Goggins is due in court today in Leon County. After that, it's expected he'll be transferred back here to Duval County to face charges in that shooting. Live at JSO headquarters this morning, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.